For nine years, I've been working to better understand my family history, as well as find my own identity as a Cambodian American. I spent three weeks in Cambodia this past March, researching about lifestyle, family relationships, and about Cambodia's national soul and tree, the palm tree. I learned that the palm tree has many uses. It can be used as fruit, wine, wood, sugar, baskets, mats, and traditional medicine, and so much more. This film is a product of that research, and I hope that the palm tree and this film can help bridge the gap between families, generations, and people, something that we all need more of today. Connection. Today, Cambodian families are made up of both the older generation and the younger generation. These two generations sit together, share their stories, and remember the past. The older generation remembers a Cambodia that was very vibrant and high energy. It was a very modern country that was very much about family and unity. The city of Phnom Penh alone was extremely modern and had beautiful architecture all around. It was a place where people came together. It had everything. Modern buildings and roads, schools, a theater, a royal palace, and it was filled with arts and culture. Popular rock and roll music came out from this era as well, including songs from Sin Si Samut, <laughs> Pun run. Rasore Sotia. And Boxe Cham Krong. It was a very happy time until the war hit. Many families were separated and broken apart and much of the older generation was affected by this and still remembers what had happened. Separated from his wife and children during the war in the 1970s, Nong Nam shares his story about many years of forced labor under the Khmer Rouge, having to collect palm fruit by climbing palm trees in order to get more food to eat, like fish and rice to survive. Today, he remembers that time in his life and shares it with the next generation, hoping that they learn from it. เกจัดខ្ញុំអមលើកនៅទៅផ្ទាំងចាញ់មកមកគុំនឹងវិញបាទអានឹងសហរដ្ឋសហគេសហគោខាងធ្វើពលមកឡើងនេះឡើងធំ
Cambodia today is filled with life and energy again. Much of the younger generation is 30 years of age or younger. Due to rapid globalization, they have influences from their home country and international countries abroad. Most of the younger generation speaks both Khmer and English, and the music they enjoy is both Khmer and Western. <laughs> The younger generation together with the older generation are working to better understand the past and learn from it through genocide education and prevention programs taught in schools and communities across Cambodia. For many years, Cambodia never really offered any formal education and training that could help people heal and understand what had happened. But today, small steps such as making a history book made with the help of the Documentation Center of Cambodia has enabled the older generation to remember, find peace and healing, and honor their loved ones. It has also opened the communication between family members of both generations. For the younger generation, it not only allows them to learn about how to care for their elders, but also gives them the motivation and determination to make Cambodia a better place than it once was for their parents and ancestors. In a year two psychology class at the Royal University of Phnom Penh, the teacher and many of the students I spoke with said they had never heard of psychology before, but they wanted to study it as part of their major because it can help them better understand the mental health issues and war traumas that their family members, parents, and communities go through. Many Cambodians are also working to clear landmines from the country, as well as preserve traditional Khmer ballet known as the Opsara Dance. In Hawaii, some Cambodian families use gardening and home garden networks as a way to reconnect to their Cambodian roots, get inspiration, and share fresh produce they have grown themselves with others. In Cambodia, every part of the palm tree is used and similar to that, no matter which part of the tree you come from, the roots, the trunk, or the leaves, we all have an important role to play in the healing and growth of Khmer society and of our shared humanity. At the end of the day, we are all Khmer. We are all one humanity, and we are stronger together. Being Cambodian comes with a complex beauty that I don't think I'll ever fully understand. It's an ever-changing identity that doesn't come with all the answers, and that's okay. The journey of just trying to understand and know has been worth so much more, and it's a life that's worth celebrating. <laughs>